You ever feel like your brain is a bowl of mush? Hi, my name's Tom, and this is my story about overcoming creative block. Creative block. What was I gonna say again? So I always joke that I'm constantly misunderstood. I know I'm not normal. I find myself trying to explain and communicate to people my inner thoughts, my passions, the creativity that is somewhere in this scattered brain. This is where I get stuck. This is where creative block comes into play for me. And what is creative block? How do you define creative block? Is it the same for everyone? Or am I just using this term creative block to delay, to procrastinate? To me, creative block is that empty, mushy feeling I get in my brain when I just can't execute my ideas or put pen to paper. Sometimes I just don't know where to start. Am I really that confusing? I can tell you one thing, creative block is real. It is a thing. And for me, it's a struggle through the entire process. Recently, I took on a challenge to film a wedding for one of my buddies. I also made the commitment that I would deliver them a full edited video that they could put on display for what they called their stateside wedding. Funny part is, I'd never filmed a wedding before. The wedding was in Costa Rica. So, I packed my gear, I jumped on a plane, and we got to shooting. So when I got back from Costa Rica, I downloaded all the footage, and I realized, oh no. There were multiple frame rates, shot from multiple cameras, none of the color grading matched, some of the audio was terrible, and there was over 50 hours of footage. I was screwed. I was instantly overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't even know where to start. So I didn't, I just didn't start and I put it off. So when I get really stuck with creative block, I go back to one of my mentors and family friends, most famous sayings, he said, Sometimes you just gotta do it for the story, man. And that puts me right back on track. Because if I don't create this content, I don't get to tell that story, and the world never gets to know about it. So why do I push through the creative block? Why do I choose to create content? You know, I've been blessed with the best family and the greatest friends on this planet. They're my fuel, they're my desire, they're my passion to create content to share with this world. It's for them. Why not share it? I needed to get moving on this project. I was doing this for a really good friend. I was doing this to give them something that they could have for the rest of their lives. So when I broke through that creative block, I finally was able to edit and create a really nice, cool, fun Costa Rica wedding video for my buddy that he was able to share on his stateside wedding with hundreds of other people watching. Boom, end game. That's what it's all about. For me, getting over creative block and getting over that hump boils down to three things. You can either do it and follow through, you can either half-ass it, or you just don't do it at all. It looks like there's really only one decision to be made. 